Hello, hello, it's Powell, and today we're going to solve a little problem and determine whether three numbers that the user supplies can be a right triangle, or can, can, can form a right triangle. Now, this is the formula that has to apply in order for the triangle to be uh, the right triangle. And uh, it's basically a simple comparison and plugging in into a, into a formula, probably using the math um, function. So, the math class. All right, let's do it. Um, we need uh, the size, of course, so it's going to be integer. I'm doing the integers. I'm not going to be holding uh, double values. The, there's no need for that. Uh, so, A, B. C and I will ask user console that right line please enter three integer values and now I will assign the numbers so a will equal the first number let's say so that's gonna be uh, we'll have to convert it of course convert it to integer console that read line and I will do the same for B and C now if you watched the previous video where we uh, were determining uh, if the three numbers can be a triangle not a right triangle just a triangle this is exactly the same uh, same thing now <clears throat> since this is a different formula then uh, what applied for a regular triangle, we have to do some uh, you know, calculations. We have to determine which one <coughs> is the longest, you know, the, the longest uh, side. In fact, let's do a variable called longest. All right, so um, this is important because uh, that's what you plug in into the uh, into the formula. So, if the longest is uh, the longest side is a. So, in other words, if a is greater than b and a is greater than c, then our longest equals a. And now we can use this to determine if it can form the right triangle. So, if math power of b to the power of 2 plus math uh, that power of c to the power of 2 equals math that to the power of a to the power of 2 then it's a right triangle uh, then what? You know what? Let's do uh, a boolean that it, uh, bool right triangle. Okay, and let's initialize it to false. And uh, so, but if this is true, then we got a right triangle. Right triangle equals true. Look at the formula. We are, if this is true, then of course we can also do this. Uh, a to the power of 2 equals uh, b to the power of 2 plus c to the power of 2. And that's what we are doing. b to the power of 2 plus c to the power of 2 needs to equal to a to the power of 2 in order for it to be a right triangle. That assumes that a is the longest side. This is on this end. <clears throat> this side of the equation is the longest side, and I forgot what it's called. Uh, I'm sure you know, but I'll just call it longest. All right. So uh, now, if uh, if a is not the longest side, let's check if which one is. Uh, so else if let's say b is the longest side, so if b is greater than a and 
B is greater than C, that makes the B the longest side. And I will just copy this thing because it's going to be very similar, except the longest now will be B, the side B. And over here we'll have uh, B to the power of 2, and over here we will go A. So in other words, if A plus C equals B, so what we do here is uh, B to the power of 2 must equal to A to the power of 2 and C to the power of 2, assuming that B is the longest side. Now if C is the longest side, so if C is greater than A and C is greater than B, then guess what? C is the longest side and uh, we have to determine if the formula matches, if they are uh, so A and B equals C. So what, are we, what we are doing here is if C to the power of 2 equals A to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2, then it's a triangle. Then the triangle is the right triangle. So right now we, let's just check if this is true. Remember, we initialize it to false. So if this is not true, if this is not true and this is not true, then it remains false. Or if this is true, but this isn't true, it still remains false. So we will check against that. So if uh, right triangle, so in other words, if right triangle equals true, then uh, console, console that right line, this is a right triangle. Otherwise, console that uh, right line. This is not a right triangle. All right, there you have it. That's my console that that read line to see the output. And I think this is all. Uh, see, I don't know. I have to get some uh, seed values to make sure that uh, we are actually uh, uh, using the right numbers. I don't know if uh, 10, 20, and 30, this is not a right triangle. You know what, let's, let's do some calculations. How about this? If A is the longest, let's say 3, and the other 2 are 2 and 1, so 3 to the power of 2, 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 plus 1 is only 5, so it's not equal. So obviously it's not the right triangle. Uh, so what if it's uh, 4? And three and three. Four times four is sixteen. Three times three is nine. That plus nine would be eighteen. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get uh, some website with some sample numbers against which we can check. And uh, I'll pause it and I'll be right back. All right. So here are some uh, sample numbers. So let's say. If uh, the numbers are 5, 4, and 3, that should be uh, a triangle, a right triangle. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's enter 5, 4, and 3. And it says this is a right triangle. Uh, let me see if there's any other. Uh, 10, 8, and 6 should give us a right triangle. So let's try that one. 10, 8, and 6. And it is a right triangle. Now what if I try 10, 8, and 7, 10, 8, and 7, it says it is not right triangle. So it seems to be working. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. All you do is uh, make sure, find the longest, uh, longest side, and then use the formula to make sure that the, uh, 
the power of 2 of the other two sides equals to the power of 2 of the longest side. And if it does, then it's a uh, right triangle. And we do that for A, B, and C to find out if A is the longest side, or B is the longest side, or C is the longest side. And uh, we initialize our Boolean to false. So if all none of these becomes true, it's by default it's going to be false, so it will not be triangle, the right triangle. If it becomes true during the pro during the uh, processing of the uh, application, then it is the right triangle. So I hope it helps you, and uh, see you next time. Take care.